Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great time at the Hot Press Speakeasy. Woo! Um, I'm very delight, uh, very happy to uh, welcome my next guest to the stage. It's a wonderfully talented lady. Please put your hands together for Alicia. Thank you. So if you just take that, right? Yeah. So, Hello. Alicia, you were playing on the Bulmers stage earlier. Mm -hmm. Tell us how it went. Yeah, it was great. It was, it's the new Bulmers live stage with. 100% Irish acts, which is insane, so I got to play. Aww, <laughs> so yeah, it went really well, it was great. a lot of people there. And will you be hanging around this evening? Who will you be checking out later? Uh, definitely Bonnie Verrick. I caught his sound check, which ah. was insane. There were tears, there were tears. Uh, really? Yeah. Um, the staves, Lisa. Lisa Hannigan. Yeah, 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 I think. Great. Yeah. So listen, things have been a bit of a roller coaster ride yeah. for you. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, you got over 200,000 streams. Yeah. Were you expecting a response no, like that? No. What is it like when that happens? Yeah, no, that was my first single that I released back in November. And the way I recorded it was with just a laptop and a microphone. And I had like no idea what I was doing. I did it with a friend of mine in his studio. And um, we just put it out and it just started going up and up and that was it like I don't know it was just insane and it, it yeah. was really cool that like we, we spent so much time in a tiny little room working on it and so many people got to hear it so yeah yeah it was cool great and you are in BIM the well-known music college in uh -huh. Dublin like is it I don't think like musicianship can't be taught but uh, I mean the, the quality of acts coming out of that college obviously it's people go in and they have like the raw materials yeah. the skill and exactly. it's just bringing it yeah. that step further mm. so like and the quality of lecturer as well yeah. there tell us about what's yeah. your experience been like yeah I'm I'm about to go into my third year now so I've just done two years out of the four and I think the best thing that I've found about it is just the people there are so many like-minded people and enthusiastic people about your work their work working together yeah which is something that you you, you, you don't really find very often right with anywhere on the, you know and especially in arts it's difficult to come across people that aren't very greedy or very you know wanting to keep to themselves and, and not want to share but I, I find that in college because you're collaborating so much that's just the way it is and that's just the way you want to be um, sure so yeah I'm having a great experience yeah. yeah and like you've been out on the road doing your own brilliant headline mm -hmm. shows but also supporting some more a little more established yeah. acts like say We Cut Corners yeah. Yeah. huge favourites of mine yeah but okay. like what do you people like that who've been around the block a good bit and been out on the road what do you learn from acts like that yeah no they were nice enough to share their tour van with us which oh. is great um i guess it's just seeing how capable they are in terms of getting their gear there and and you know getting through their sound check quickly and doing what doing what they want to do but being so efficient doing it and um yeah just getting it done I, I i just really i like loved going on tour with them they were so nice and we just yeah. had fun and ate loads of bananas and apples <laughs> <laughs> so like how i always wonder as a non-musician how do you take your craft and uh, you know apply it to the stage what sort of changes yeah. in, in that yeah that movement yeah i've so i've only been playing live for about eight, seven eight months at this stage mm. started back in october november um and well, I used to play a little bit by myself on stage for small things, but I was playing guitar and I decided, I just decided to drop the guitar and to be able to move and yeah. fidget <laughs> if I wanted to, to whatever. Um, so I have an amazing band and they're great. And uh, going on stage now is far more, I feel like I can deliver the songs in a much more personal way because I'm not stuck to anything. I have just the mic, it's just me and the mic and the, and the audience. So sure. um, yeah, and, it, and it's really good. And just being able to work, jam out with, with another band is just amazing rather yeah. than just myself. So yeah, it's good. And um, like, I always wonder like playing a festival as opposed to playing your own show, yeah. because when you're playing your own show, it's a captive audience. Yes. When you're playing a festival, it could be people wandering by. How does your approach to uh, each differ? Yeah insane i mean today was so good i don't know if anybody was there at my set but like people were so nice i could just see people walking in being like oh cool like which is so nice you know I've, i always love festivals because you can just walk around and find somebody that you like and you'll always come away with a handful of people that you love yeah so uh, playing festivals is a weird experience um because you can see people's reactions straight up because it's bright it's not even dark no lights on you <laughs> yeah so yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely different to playing in a venue where you feel like you may have more control but i think that's why festivals are more exciting because sure and challenges yeah, you yeah, 
that's somewhat yeah. makes you up yeah. your game yeah, sort of exactly. as well yeah. um, and you have a fantastic song out at the moment Halfway which has a brilliant video oh, uh, directed by Christian Tierney yes. who has worked with lots of other great uh, Irish acts how important is uh, the visual medium how important yeah. is video now yeah for Super. you yeah, yeah extremely I mean I sometimes like to sketch and draw my own things but I can never I, I can't exactly explain what I want and Christian just took exactly what I said and was able to actually make something of hey. it we shot the video out in Kalani Beach and we had a lot of smoke bombs and things going off but um, I think it's just being able to collaborate with such intal such talented videographers and photographers and such people I worked with on the artwork as well with Ethan Hart who's amazing I think it's just uh, they're so talented and genuine that you can just tell them what you're thinking and then they, they, they can make something of it so sure. we're working with the visuals is always a challenge because it's definitely not the same as writing a song even though I'm very picturesque in writing but yeah, I, I, I just yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> oh, and it's we're actually working on the our special 40th birthday edition of Hot Yay! Press, which will be out next Thursday, everybody. Oh, brilliant! And we are asking sort of a selection of different musicians about their musical epiphanies, like whether it was you know, a record they heard that really made them think, wow, music is going to be the life for me yeah. or a gig they were yeah. at. So what was that for you? What was your musical epiphany? I think it was watching Stevie Nicks do a live performance of Rhiannon. Okay. Yeah. Um, wow. That that was probably the biggest. I remember my father showing me Fleetwood Mac as a child, and I kind of knew the songs, but it was when I was maybe 13, 14 that I saw this again, and I thought that is exactly what I want to do. And yeah. I got to see them a couple of years ago, so that was insane too. So I think it's yeah, right. Stevie Nicks. So always. Stevie, we have Stevie yeah. to thank yes. for you being here yes. today. <laughs> um, and tell us, what does the rest of the year hold for you? Yeah, I'm playing a few more gigs here. I'll probably play in a few more Irish festivals. Woo! Uh, yay! Um, <laughs> some of the UK and um, hopefully some kind of a small tour then going yeah. into the autumn. Um, and releasing, I'm releasing my EP in about two weeks. Woo! My debut EP Woo! and I'm really excited, so... And yeah. tell us about the EP. Where did you record it or yeah. who did you work with? On yeah, it? so I worked with Sean Behan, who also plays keys in the band yeah. at APCK Studios, a place called Kai Studios, and we release with him. So we've been sitting on this EP for about a, a year now. Okay. We've, do we've just How many tracks? Four. Okay. Four. Yeah. Two that you know already, yeah. um, but two that you don't. Um, so I'm really excited to share it. It's going to be Great. fun. Yeah. And you're going to do some dates around the country to support the release? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Come and come autumn, yeah. Great. Well, yeah. do remember to check hotpress.com for Leisha live activity. Now, does anybody have any questions they would like to ask Leisha? Oh, I didn't know we were doing this. Cool. Anybody? Everyone's very shy. shy. Anybody? Anybody? I say, looking accusingly at Pat Carty in the corner. <laughs> no, okay. Anybody at all? Go on. Okay, well, what are your recommendations then for the crowd for the rest of the night? What would you recommend the they get along to? The Bonnie Vera, Lisa Hannigan. They're doing a jam at the moment, if you want to go <gasps> leg it to that. Bonnie Vera and a few other people oh. are playing a jam. I don't know what tent it, in, tent it is, but uh, I'm going to run. Okay. Definitely Bonnie Vera, Lisa Hannigan, Sport the Irish Axe, and of course the Staves. Yeah. yeah. Okay, listen, thank you so much, thank Leisha. You, we will let me. you run now. Yay. Everybody give it up for Leisha. Thank you. Thank you.